I sold one of my paintings here a while back and the girl was looking at it. She said, oh, that's me. You know, and wanted it immediately because it just, it, for whatever reason, it was her story. Hey, Sherry. Hey. How are you? I'm fine. How are you? I'm good. I said Sherry and Siri picked up. <laughs> so thanks for having us. We're really excited to learn more about your work. I've been familiar with your work for a couple of years now. Being a member at Ava, I've seen a lot of your submissions, and I think I, yeah. I put, I have a piece of yours at a, a law firm, I think, right? Yeah, I got two of my paintings yeah. at the law firm. Yeah, yeah, so I'm excited to get more info about your narrative and your subject matter. Before we do that, how long have you been painting? As far back as I can remember, basically, <laughs> I just came into this world. It was the only thing I ever wanted to do. So. And you're mixed media, correct? I am now, okay. yeah. Uh, I've done different things, but at the moment, it's mixed media. And what all is involved in that? Is it, I'm assuming painting and what else? Um... Yeah, painting, but at the same time, I, I always usually incorporate some realistic things in it. It's not just abstract, you know. Um, but the uh, mixed media kind of helped me get a little more expression into it, I think. So I've just kind of fallen in love with it. Uh, I guess my first attempt at mixed media was years ago. I was, uh, when the children were little, I was using um, color pencil a lot. Because I could pick it up and set it down, you know. Then I got to mix in my color pencil with oil paint. And it kind of kicked off from there, and I've done portraits that way for a long time. So that was my first attempt at mixed media before I knew there was such a thing as mixed media. <laughs> Your subject matter with women, could you elaborate on that? Um, well, I've always uh, used women as subject matter for years. Um, I'm just drawn to them for one thing. I think it started when uh, I was taking some life drawing classes. Uh, we had models, you know, and there would be women and, and men. And the women were just always so much more fun to draw. <laughs> you know, men are square. <laughs> yeah, yeah, pretty much. You know? So it, I think it started from there. And, and I've always done women, whether it was portraits or or just putting them in, you know, scenes and things. But it wasn't until just kind of recently that I've started delving into um, sort of the emotions of a woman, all the things that they have to deal with. I'm kind of surrounded by women. Uh, I've got a daughter, I've got daughter-in-laws, I've got granddaughters, a mother and an aunt, and all strong women, you know, with opinions and heartaches and all the things that women have to deal with and it just sort of kind of snowballed from there. Yeah. I'm trying to just paint their stories. And are you painting these exact stories from the people that you know or do you create your own stories too just to express a certain emotion of one? Um, probably a little bit of both. Most of them, I think, sometimes will come from my own emotions, my own feelings. Sometimes it's very intuitive. I just start a painting and it tells me where to go. So I've, I've started them and got stuck and put them in the floor. You know? And all of a sudden I'd glance over and it would be telling me what it needed. Sometimes they are stories. Uh, one that is probably that's supposed to go to into the True Colors uh, uh, show mm -hmm. is about domestic abuse, and that's been kind of close to my heart recently. So it just kind of depends. Sometimes you know it's the person. Sometimes it's just a feeling or an emotion. Well, when you start out a piece, do you sketch it out first, or do you is the portrait first? Sometimes it's it's both ways. Mm -hmm. A lot of times I get the uh, the groundwork going on the piece because wanting all the texture and that texture almost helps me know which direction I want to go, you know. So sometimes it's that way, but then 
I what I call doodle. I have a, a journal, and when I have thoughts and things, I'll start doodling. And I've even got some on the wall. These little ones. That's what they are. They started as doodles, and then they help me to the big piece. And sometimes I'll draw that face, and all of a sudden it's like, oh yeah, I know what she said. With the mixed media, um, I'm finding it's working so well because I can use that to really portray a lot of emotions and feelings that you can't just do in a, you know, in a figure. And I'm concentrating on their eyes and the look in their eyes, but everything that's going on around them helps tell their story. So I've kind of fallen in love with the mixed media. It helped me do what I want to do. <laughs> you stay fixated on kind of this area. Is it because people say, you know, you can tell the story by looking in the eyes, or do you not want to distract people with a full body figure? No, it's all about the eyes. You know, what is the old saying of uh, the eyes are the window to the soul? Believe that. And I've always been very intuitive about uh, people. I can look at the, in their eyes and I, you know, it's like I can tell if they're sad or if they're hiding something. So to me, the eyes are a big part of it. That's why some of them are covered. And all you can see is their eyes because that's where the story, the real story is. My series is called Behind the Veil. Mm -hmm. so, so many emotions that women have, they keep hidden. Yeah. I noticed that your style almost has this kind of coral texture to it, where it looks kind of aquatic, but it also has this natural mm -hmm. greenery texture. Is that just your preference, or does it usually help convey a certain emotion that you're shooting for? Um. A little bit of both, I think, uh, because along with the women, I also do uh, paintings that I consider sort of um, a dream. It's kind of hard to explain. Kind of world where you know you can go back to your childhood and all those things you you dreamed about when you were little. You know, fairies and mermaids. I'm still a kid at heart, so I do a lot of paintings like that. And for some reason, some of it is very aquatic. And my favorite color is blue, so. <laughs> Do you make any of your subjects or your figures resemble actual people? No, not too much. Yes, I'm doing a kind of a portrait. And I did a portrait for one girl and kind of, she wanted all those emotions and things that was going on in her life. and. Uh, so it was based on, you know, my paintings, yeah. but most of the time it's not. Most of the time it's just the eyes. Right. Yeah. Are you working on any uh, new projects? The one I just finished, this one, is sort of a, um, a second phase to the one about um, uh, abuse mm -hmm. and uh, the story it tells. This one is called Release. And, you know, finally you get to a point where you've got to let all that harm and all that heartache, you got to let go right. and be happy. Yeah. Yeah. Well, we appreciate your time. Appreciate you talking to me. Yeah, it's very interesting to hear uh, your perspective and to know that you're not just creating for yourself, but it has a bigger purpose and it's kind of a, a healing exercise. So. I hope that I hope that's what it will be for people, you know, and just like the one little lady, she said, Oh, that's me. Yeah. That that touches my heart. <laughs> Thinking, yes, that's what this is about. Right. You take care and stay safe. You too. Thank you. Thank you.